These are the five things I learned today, and I'm Ryan Nance. It can be hard to talk to your kids about how much they have without falling into the trap of pitying others or of developing a sense of superiority. It is, in fact, the other lesson that I long to teach my kids, that despite hardship, there is dignity and bright intelligence. This photo series by photographer James Mollison is called Where Children Sleep, and it brings out that lesson in an unmistakable way. Dans la fraîcheur complice des embruns. Another photo series, this one by Gabrielle Gallimberti, is called Toy Stories, and it shows kids from around the world with their most prized possessions. And it is the message of a shared kidness around the world that makes this so lovely. School is one of those shared experiences, but even if the subjects and the methods are fairly similar from country to country, the experience and the culture of the schools can be really different, as can so clearly be seen in this series by photographer Julian Germain. The old teacher, Lao Tzu, says, every step is on the path. Now, there are a lot of fearless daredevils out there risking their lives for thrills or publicity or some other unnamed psychic pressure. None of them, not a single one of them, have the slightest bit up on these kids who risk their lives and struggle just to show up at school. Even if they happen to look like your kids or have names like your kids, the American kids from 1850 to 1930 in these photos are the most distant we've seen separated more by time and history than wealth, culture, or language ever could. These are the five things I learned today, and I'm Ryan Nance.